Oh, hey, y'all. I'm back. Okay, so I did I did a video last month or so, um, but I never posted it. So I want to I want to do this um, for people who are considering moving, especially to Merida. Some of the areas, some of the colonias have where we have eight foot walls that go around our um, areas, our our housing. Um, where I am right now, I am in a condo. And so it's my floor and there's a floor above me. So it's only two floors. We only have, it's a very small number of units that are here as well. Um, the, the condo that I'm in is very spacious because it's just me. Um, no visitors, no nothing, like no, nobody. Well, when I first moved in, um, there were some people coming in to try to fix the water heater and then, um, the owner's handyman or something realized that my TV did not work. So um, took the old TV out and brought in a 55 inch brand new TV in the box and everything. So aside from those two people coming in, like nobody comes in. I don't have um, a housekeeper. I don't have an exterminator, anybody coming into my space. Um, so it's very, it's, it's a lot of space for me. But yesterday when I was talking in yesterday's video about my mental health and everything, another thing that I really realized <laughs> that I don't like, um, this is my second place here in Merida where I've stayed. The last place I was on the third floor in the hotel that I was in. Um, and so where I think when you saw me doing a video for me being in Merida, I was in a hotel Um not when I first got to Mexico, but when I first got to Merida. And third floor, like I'm seeing everything. I'm seeing the parades. I'm seeing the police cars go through. I'm seeing ambulances. Mind you, I was like at a corner from a hospital, uh, a huge hospital. Um, but I'm just seeing everything. I'm seeing street vendors. I'm smelling everything. Like when the moo cow goes by, like there's the the truck, the, the vehicle, that this literally move. So it just does that. And so that's the milkman. Um, but when the milkman was coming by, like not only did I hear him, but I saw him. So I knew, oh my goodness, that little car is doing the milkman moo moo sound or whatever. But here, because there's an eight foot wall around all of my windows and everything, like I see nothing but wall. And so that also kind of like, eh, like, because I don't get out of the house except for when I need to, um, pay the bills, um, water or electric when I, or, or my phone as well, um, pay the bills or go shopping for food every now and then, like I hadn't done it in a few months, but I will get to where it's like, I don't want to go shopping. Um, because when I go shopping, I limit myself. Like if the fruits and veggies look bad, which they do at Walmart, like I'm not touching them. And then Sam's, I'll get salad from Sam's and then I'll get their rotisserie chicken. And then they did have some pulled pork um, that I was getting, but I'm not, how many times do you really want to eat that over and over again? So I would order Rappi. Rappi is like your, your delivery food. And so I would go outside and meet that person at the curb to get my food or whatever. But aside from that, like there's, like the this wall, this eight foot wall, it's just like, oh my goodness, I don't, I don't like that. Um, so the eight foot wall, that's that's a thing that blocks your view. So if you are in the area and you're deciding that you want to look for a space, be mindful of the eight foot wall. It's cool until it's not. Um, the other thing with the eight foot wall is yes, um, because it is a stone wall, you have your iguanas that will go back and forth on it. And um, sometimes those iguanas there was a period of time where the iguanas stopped being on the wall and actually got over on my side on the patio. And then I think I showed y'all a picture. Um, I know it's on my TikTok, but uh, there's where this iguana was crawling up my patio. Cause you know how the patio can have the, the window and then it can have the screen part where well, there was an iguana crawling up the screen part. And I'm like, where are you going? Like, 
there's another unit above me. Like you're going to have to crawl for days. And he was barely making, he, she was barely making it. And so, yeah, I was just like staring at it until it fell. And I was like, oh my goodness, please don't hurt yourself. Because if you hurt yourself, guess what? You're in my patio and I have to deal with it. So that's another thing is when you have that eight foot wall and it's just your space, like the, you don't have a landscaper or anything like that coming in, that iguana those birds that hit up on the window above and fall down into the patio space below in my space, like that's all my responsibility. And what do I do with that responsibility, you guys? When the birds do it, I've had two birds now and that iguana that fell. When they fall down and they look like they are hurt like that, I immediately give them energy. Like ugh, I give them energy so they get better and get out of my patio space. Because I don't want you to die. Because if you die, then I have to pick you up. I have to, I have to, ugh. so yeah, no, none of that. Um, the other thing is, is I don't know who it is, but somebody keep throwing their stuff over on my side of the patio. So like, it's, it's like a, 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 let's just say body wash, but it's in like a body wash bottle, but I don't know if it's body wash. I don't know if it's like, so, so shampoo, like, I don't know what it is, but it's something that's over there. Um, and then, um, because of the way the gate is like, I have a gate on both ends, like this gate that separates me from the neighbor, that gate, it has no slats in it, but my other gate, which is the service gate, it does have slats in it. And oh my goodness, it got all kind of hairballs that be coming through and everything. And it ends up in my patio. So everything like washes when it rains, everything washes through and comes through the patio and it's now like all my stuff for me to clean up so that just keep all that stuff in mind when you are considering a patio I'm sorry a unit on the bottom floor another thing is I have this huge glass patio thingy thing it's probably let's say if it's 10 feet high then let's say it's 10 10 feet high and 10 feet wide so it's a huge it takes up the entire wall in my living room um every time I open that thing Every time I open that thing, there is somebody waiting for me to open it up so that they can run into my unit. I don't like that. And just this last time I was like, I need to go out there and um, I need to go out there and sweep the patio, right? Because it bothers me, right? Like, I mean, it bothers me. And so I bought a new broom because my other brooms, it was so freaking hot outside that the sun broke the brooms. The brooms were outside minding their beeswax because they're outside brooms. And I heard this noise and I looked over and the broom had actually broken because the sun was just beaming on it. They're metal brooms. Um, but the, 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 bottom part was going into like a plastic part for the broom um and I think the other one might have been metal I don't know I threw them in the trash already but yeah the the sun broke them but anyway so I opened up the patio this last time I am always on guard like I got my plastic gloves on I got the trash bag ready to go and then I got a please turn your ears if you are sensitive to death and dying and all that other stuff then I have my poison that be ready to go because I'm like, I'm going to get y'all. Y'all always ready to come in. I'm going to get whatever. And so I had already sprayed, like sprayed a perimeter already. And because last time I had opened it up the curtain and I was just like, I don't see anything. Everything looks good. And I didn't spray. And what, what, where? There are little spiders coming down and y'all see this hair. We don't need little spiders in this hair. So anyway, I spray the area. Prior to me opening up anything, I checked the whole area again and I didn't see anything. And then I saw a moth or fly, which is a moth. Um, I saw a moth or fly, um, moth or fly, moth. It's a moth, but it could be a butterfly because they're big. And I, I just don't know. So I call them moth or flies. Um, so as I open the, the glass, the glass is so heavy. I can probably get it a good three to four inches, like using my strength or whatever. So I've got it the three to four inches at the bottom there is something moving so quick and I see it and I immediately spray and then I'm like oh it's a gecko and then I slam the glass back because I'm like that one's in my place I don't so I'm checking like like all over the place and to see if it came in to my knowledge it didn't come in I still haven't seen anything so I think it's still out there like it's in the the 
the groove of the patio door. So anyway, uh, reasons why you don't want to be on the bottom floor, if at all possible, y'all. Um, if you are on the bottom floor and you are queasy wheezy like me, um, have a landscaper or somebody that you can have to come by and do regular maintenance. But y'all have them come in through the service gate because if they don't come in through the service gate, that means they need to come in through your space. And we don't want that. We want them to come in through the service gate. But for me to get to the service gate, to let them in through the service gate, I have to go out through my patio, walk to the other, other gate, unlock it with my padlock. And that defeats the purpose. Like it's scary out there. I don't want to go out there and I can't come from the other side. I can't come from outside and un and undo it because the slats are like that kind of slats. And so you can't like stick your hand through to unlock the padlock and like use the service gate. So it's just, I don't get it. Like it, it's not for me. It's not built for me right now. So yeah. Um, Bottom floor is just no. The other thing, y'all, is that when it rains, this area that I'm at right now, the patio, is not level. It is not. It It's kind of like that a little bit, right? So every time it rains, the rain swishes around and then it piles up right right here where the whole patio area is for my, my sliding door. And I kid you not, like the, the ground is here the stoop to the patio is here. The rain gets about right here and it's crazy. Like you see everything washing down the patio, coming to the door. And I'm like, what, where, and when? Like this stuff is crazy. It has never flooded over or come over the threshold into my unit, but it gets right there. And it has gotten right there several times. Um, so, and then there's a spout that I'm guessing is like, they're kind of like gutter, but it's a, it's an inner spout. It's an inner pipe and it lets out right here into the patio as well, into my patio. And so it adds to the rainwater is just all that gushing water out of that pipe. And so it's just like, oh my goodness, y'all are trying to flood, flood some stuff. And so, yeah, just those types of things. Um, just I just want to give you a heads up to be mindful of that. True, you don't have to be lifting no groceries upstairs or anything like that. The waters that I buy because I still don't know who the water man is because I can't see outside. I think the water man comes on Thursdays because somebody comes in a big old truck and they just lay on their horn. And so I think that might be the water man. <laughs> I think. Um, and so... Yeah, I just go buy my water because I'm not going to do the water man. I'm not even going to start up a water man because, again, it's almost time for me to move. So, um, yeah, those are some of the things with living on the bottom floor is the iguanas, the animals that may fall from hitting and ramming into the windows above and they're falling into your space. People who may be tossing their trash. I don't know if they're tossing out their window, if they have their window open to get a breeze and the breeze is knocking stuff out the window into the paddock. I don't know what's going on, but it's, it's out there. Um, trash that's coming from underneath the gate and sweeping through. Um, the Where I'm at, they do take care of the, the greenery out front right but at the gate <laughs> they're not taking care of that greenery so that greenery is growing through the gate and on the other side of the gate and then I think some spawn or pond or, or seeds or whatever have taken root because somebody's somebody's water sewer like thing I feel like it's like a septic tank but maybe not a septic tank but something something was backing up a couple of times and so the water would bubble up out of their square like there are squares that belong to different units that are on my side of the patio so anyway somebody's was having water come up out of it and I'm up like uh Whose responsibility is that? Anyway, I think uh, some of the seeds went there. So now there's like weeds sprouting out of it. And I'm like, you know, I'm already scared of the patio. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know how they, I don't know how this, I don't know how that stuff is handled, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna take it have it as a learning thing and move on to our next unit. So my next unit, I definitely need to have 
upstairs. If I'm in a house, I need upstairs because I need to see people. I need to see stuff moving around. I don't need to look out my wall, my, my windows and see walls. Um, you can look up and see sky and trees and bats depending on what time it is. But yeah, I just, I want to see people. I want to see the moo cow vehicle go through when it says moo. I want to see it. I want to know when the taco man is coming through, when the tamale man is coming through, when all these people are coming through. Even if I don't buy from you, I want to see that you're coming through. I want to see that you care about my neighborhood. I want to see that you care about where I live. And if I wanted to come out next day, like all those things. Um, so yeah, um what else is going on today i bought a fan guys oh my goodness i bought a fan i would move it but it's it's i don't want to i don't want to do all that um so i got a, a oscillating fan and i'm so excited i've been using that and so i feel like i will not be needing to use my ac because i told y'all my bill went up um so i wanted to continue to go down i was wrong my bill did not go up because i was talking to the owner today um about my water bill but my electric bill is 1019 for this, excuse me, that I just paid a couple of days ago, yesterday, whatever day that was. Yesterday, I think, is when I paid it. The bill before then was 1159 or something like that. So it did go down. But y'all, I'm so excited because I know it's going to go down even more because I'm about to be using this fan because it's not even that hot to me. Like, yes, right now, because I'm doing this video for you guys, I have on two lights and there's nine other lights in here that I could have on, but I'm not, I'm not turning them on. Um, So yeah, I'm just so excited to um, have my fan. My fan is going to be going with me to the living room and to my bedroom. And so I'm so excited. We're going to get to know each other because it's going to be my friend buddy. And I had to put it together by myself. And it took a while because the instructions are in Spanish. And I was just like, wait, what? Wait, what? So I'm having to translate. And then, yeah, it, it took me a while. It took me a while. So I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, my next big hurdles that I need to do I don't plan on doing any right right now, but I think one thing that I will want to do soon, I'm not sure when, maybe sometime in October, sometime in October, I think, is I want to go get some glasses. I did look online yesterday at some prices and they look like they're running like maybe $70 for some glasses. So I'll see if that's like frames and lenses is extra. Or if I buy the frames, do y'all do the lenses? Like, I'm not sure what that entails. I'm not sure what that price entails. I have heard, and it looks like I've read, I didn't use my translation, but it looks like if you get the lenses or if you get the frames in lenses or something like that, then the exam is free. So I'll, like I said, that's something I'll be tackling Um for the month of October, I believe. October, November is what I want to tackle. Um, I want to learn some more words around eyes um, and eyeglasses and exam and test and can you see and all those stuff. I want to learn some of those words. So when it is said to me, then I can kind of reply back, even if it is broken Spanish, at least I, I want to know some of those. So um yeah, I'm not going to rush myself, but that is something that I want to be doing um, within the next 30 ish days. So, yeah, that's it. That's all. I'm going to try to uh, stick with the note editing, and that way I can keep y'all updated a little bit more often. So, yeah, I think that's it. Until then, guys. Bye, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, be sure to put it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me a thumbs up and for your attention. Until next time. Bye, guys.